Ragfinery is a textile reuse nonprofit and job training center located in Bellingham, Washington. Our mission is to inspire creative reuse, reduce waste, and promote local job training in our textile economy. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us for another tutorial. This one is a no sew t-shirt bag, so it's great for beginners. First thing you're gonna need is an old t-shirt. It's fun if it has a cool design on it. And you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a pen or a marker. And finally a ruler, and that's it. We'll start by cutting away the sleeves and the neckline of your shirt. Easy way to do this is to trace those seams with your scissors. Awesome job! We just made the handles of our bag. And now it's time for the bottom of the bag. We'll start by turning the shirt inside out. Grab your ruler and your pen or your marker. We're going to draw a horizontal line about three or four inches from the bottom of the shirt. This is called the hem. I used a ballpoint pen, but a marker would work way better. And it's okay if your line is messy. You won't see the marks on the outside of the bag. Now we're going to cut vertical strips from the hem up to the line that we drew. Start by cutting along the seam on the side of the shirt. From here, we'll cut strips about one inch wide along the bottom up to that horizontal line. And you'll repeat this all the way across the width of the shirt until you have a row of fringe. There we go. We're all done cutting our ties. Look at all that fringe. The next step is to tie each pair of strips together in a square knot. So working from one side to the other will create a seam at the bottom of the bag by knotting each pair together. And here's a close-up view. You have two strips, you'll cross them to make a loop and put one end through the loop and then pull tight. Then you'll do that again to make the knot secure. And just repeat that over and over with each pair of strips. Do your best to tie those knots nice and tight. This will reduce the gaps at the bottom of the bag so that you won't have any big holes that things can fall through. You should have a bunch of fringe, and if you want to trim it off, you can just take your scissors and cut off the last inch and a half or so, just so it's a little bit less bulky. But if you like the way your fringe looks, then you can just leave it. Turn your bag right side out, and we'll take a look at the finished product. Now if you don't like those little holes on the bottom seam, you can make them smaller by tying a pair of the knots together to close the gaps. So that would be four ends total that you'd be tying into another square knot. We're all done! What are you going to use your bag for? Are you going to take it to the grocery store? Pick up your library books? Let us know! Send us some photos at our Instagram account or on Facebook. 
And finally, thank you so much for joining us.